Once again, permaculture designer Ethan Rowland and I had thoughts on the future of beer, peak oil as a possible global warming remedy, and planting donuts. I heard that somebody said that one of the first things we were going to lose when peak oil really starts to kick in is beer. I'm going to have to categorically disagree with that. Um, because hops, one of the four main ingredients in beer, are very easy to grow. Easy? And they're really super easy? easy. Yeah, just plant. Let me look at what this is growing in. This is like a this is like weed heaven. You know, there's all this strong grasses, and yet this vine climbs up the pole. It's gonna it's trellising on the fence here. You know, and, and these, it looks really cool. Yeah, these beautiful hops, and they mm, they have a great smell. So beer oh, wow. is not one of the things we're gonna lose because we're gonna have hops growing. We're gonna have barley growing in our fields. We've got water from the rain, and then we, all we need is a little bit of yeast. This is, the vision is a self-maintaining little garden of Eden, okay, that is totally full of uh, perennial polycultures and multi-purpose plants producing food and medicine and fuel and fiber and fodder and fertilizer and pharmaceuticals and fun. Uh-huh. So this whole landscape back here, though you can't see much of it now, has been designed to be this low-maintenance Garden of Eden. Um, so all the edges are designed. Design the edges first, and now we're just working inside, reading this abundant, diverse forest garden. We're putting the vegetables in the herb garden right near the house. Um, we're starting to catch water off the roof. Um, I have plans to make a humanor composting system and a smaller pond so we can do aquaculture and get the, uh, the mushroom logs going nearby so we got mushrooms being produced. There's nice. plans for solar panels on the roof and solar hot water and a water still, a solar water still here. Mm. It's happening. You know, we've got the whole system. We have the design. It's not all done yet, but we know where everything goes and then we can take easy step by step by step to bring it to reality. Permaculture has been defined as applied common sense. Ah, okay. Okay? Right. So it's just, it's just a set of tools. Permaculture is a toolbox for regenerative living. It's just a set of tools. Okay. It teaches us to be a little bit better designers. Hmm. It teaches us how to think about the whole system. Because when we think about the whole system, then we see that waste is just an unused resource. Ah. We see all the different pieces of sustainability and we pull them together. That's what permaculture teaches us to do. It's grassroots design thinking. It's like very community-based whole systems awareness. And it teaches us to co-design and co-create landscapes of abundance. And I like it because you're saying that it can be as simple or as complex as you choose. Mm -hmm. Depends on how deep you want to get into it. So strangely enough, Peak oil, the problem, may be the solution to global climate change. If things, you know, fall apart quickly enough through peak oil, it may, it may give us a chance to reduce our energy usage so much that climate chaos isn't such a big deal. Make. They grow really well here. The yeah, cider there's donuts. a great the cider donut tree. I'm not sure if you've seen it. It's called uh, Cideris donatii. Yes. Um, yes. Delicious, delicious. Uh, they sometimes they describe the fruit as sort of um, pastry-like. Oh, okay. I don't have one planted here yet, but. Um, and they're indigenous to America. Well, they're definitely indigenous to the planet.